Evan, well, this morning we're getting a closer look at the impact from last night's storms and uh, what people are kind of dealing with this morning, especially in areas near Battle Creek. We want to go live now to our Andy Curtis, who is near Marshall, where that reported uh, tornado touched down. We know, Andy, uh, now it's light out. We can really uh, get a good look at the damage there. Yeah, that's right, Janice. When we showed up this morning, what we could see was just limited to what we could light up with our uh, headlights driving here on 20 Mile Road. And that was pretty impressive in itself. Trees, big mature trees toppled over, power lines down. Uh, take a look at this tree that was uprooted on the property that we're on uh, now. But uh, yeah, you said it as the sun rose, we're getting a better idea of just how much damage is around this area. As a tra there's a trailer across the street here that was uh, downright flattened. A lot of debris, barns blown down, sheds pretty much destroyed. And we've been seeing uh, this property owner's animals that look like they made it through the storm wandering around with uh, their sheds having been destroyed last night and their pens destroyed last night wandering around this morning. And uh, when we spoke with the homeowner, he said uh, at the time you can only speculate how much damage he had, but uh, he was optimistic. We got the, uh, the alerts on the phone and everything, and uh, so we went in the basement, and next thing you know, we just our ears popped, uh, and then you heard this roar coming down, and I didn't know what it was, what was going on, but yeah, it was pretty crazy, and uh, so then after all that, we come outside, and it's, it's what you see. It's nuts. Yeah, came outside, and this is what they saw. A lot of damage, treetops ripped off over behind us, and uh, just a lot of cleanup ahead for the families in this area. And what really we found fascinating is on our drive in here this morning, not much farther from where we're standing right now, maybe a mile, two miles down the road, people still had their garbage cans out. So it seems very targeted, very isolated where this uh, tornado touched down and did some of the more extreme damage that we're seeing. And some houses not far from where we're at uh, at the moment look untouched. So just uh, uh, luck of the draw, it seems like when you're dealing with Mother Nature when she rolled through here last night. We will continue to bring you updates and currently Calhoun County and their sheriff department have reported no major injuries from last night's storm. That's good. We'll keep an eye on that and continue to bring you uh, updates through the rest of the morning here and on our uh, website, fox17online.com. Reporting from Calhoun County, Andy Curtis, Fox 17 News. Back to you guys.